things started off with Goku, but quickly shifted to the antics of Frieza, Frost, and Gohan. Comes as no surprise that Frieza was once again represented in a wonderfully evil and exciting way. His presence is a menacing one and it's conveyed perfectly through his actions, dialogue and the art of each scene. I particularly liked how manipulative he felt this week. From the first moment he was on screen, it felt out of place, but in a good way. It was immediately clear he was up to no good, and I love it watching as he indulged in combat against Gohan, only to spin it all against his ally and knock Frost clear out of the arena. Frieza surely isn't done yet, and it's moments like these that make me eager for the future. On the other side of the partnership was Frost. His inclusion this week didn't feel quite as strong as Frieza's, and certainly not as exciting as his battle against Roshi. Some of this is by necessity, since his role this week was to be baited and then knocked out of the ring, but it seemed a little too easy to pull off. Frost is known to be just as devious as Frieza, so the idea of him getting so easily tricked just didn't come off well. His art also couldn't compare to Frieza when they were side by side and it's clear far more time and attention to detail went into Frieza and not Frost. When it was all wrapped up, I did find myself smiling as Frost made an unexpected exit from reality. His boiling rage that then led to his own demise reminded me a lot of the same anger that once led to Frieza's death, and I thought it was great homage to see that replicated again in Super. Episode 108 was light on action and the lengthy dialogue sections only made this lack of fighting more apparent. Oftentimes the characters in Super deem it necessary to speak every thought on their mind and explain every action and consequence of what they see happening. Not only do these moments drag on and make for boring scenes but it also reflects poorly on the show as it makes it seem like Super does not trust its viewers to understand what's happening right in front of them. Good dialogue and strong action scenes can convey all the information that a viewer needs if they're handled well but minutes upon minutes of expositional conversation do nothing to help the show.